Well, welcome back. This is Greater Devotion, and I'm Pastor Brad. You know, we've been talking about serving the Lord this week by serving others as a way of really opening up a door for the gospel to be preached. And you know, this is all well and good, but have you ever thought to yourself, I just don't want to serve today, or I don't have it in me, and, and you just kind of have that sort of negative vibe going, and you just don't want to do it. Now, most of us probably could acknowledge that there have been times in our, in our life, in our faith, in our journey with the Lord, where we just kind of felt that way. Well, you know what? I think when we get to feeling like that, we really need an infusion of purpose and the joy of the Lord that comes when we know that we're doing the right thing for Him. I want to jump into a passage of Scripture in Colossians chapter 3, verses 23 through 24, because in this, uh, again, Paul, he, he encourages us towards understanding why it is that we're serving. And again, when we understand that, it really can freshen or refresh uh, you know, our passion and desire to serve, uh, especially when we're not really feeling up to it. So this is what it says, is whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Jesus Christ. And so here is something that I think that we need to constantly remind ourselves of. When we are serving other people and when we are actually ministering uh, through serving other people, you know, that we are not doing it to serve them or just to do even some nice or good thing for others. Because you know what, that can actually come with its rewards and then that's our reward. Or, you know, like if someone were to, you know, oh, that was great and it makes you feel good and it's nice to feel good. But you know what? Sometimes when we're serving people, we don't get that kind of feedback and we're just pouring out and we're not getting anything back out of it. And if our service is just for the sake of serving or it's because we want to do something good for somebody else or whatever, that is really not something that will sustain us in the place of serving. We will get drained that way, in other words, and uh, eventually come to that place where we're just like, I just don't want to do this. But we're reminded in this passage of scripture that we do this to serve the Lord and by doing an act of service for somebody else what we're actually doing is we are worshiping the Lord by what it is that we're doing and so the reason why we do what we're doing is an act of worship before the Lord not because we're called even to do good things if that makes sense to you I hope it does because again that is the right reason, because we want to honor God with our work, with our actions, with our helping somebody else. And that will literally be the reason why doors open and where the gospel can be shared. And on that good word, let's close with prayer. Lord, we thank you. And I pray, Lord, that you help us to keep in mind that this can be an act of worship and service specifically to you as we serve others. And so help us to take the joy and even have the perspective that whatever it is that we engage in as we serve other people, that it is a way to just show you love and honor. And uh, so Lord, we just pray that you would even receive our gifts of service uh, as we do them and that we might be uh, just even encouraged in that place because of it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks again for watching. Go ahead and click that like and share button. It does help us to get the word out. And I just want to hear a good story. I know someone out there has got a good story, but I'd love to hear a good story. You can put it in the comments. Just let me know. What's a time when you just you just felt like, I just don't want to do this at all? And you just, you just really pushing yourself to even get up and do this act of service, this help for somebody, or even you know something you're serving in the church doing. And you just had to push yourself and you pushed yourself. And then when you did and you did the act of service, you were just filled with joy uh, as you did that thing. I'd love to hear that story. Go ahead and, again, put that in the comments. And uh, until we see each other again, remember to show somebody a little bit of kindness, love, and respect even today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.